We use a lot of water. Water for drinking, bathing, rinsing, brewing, shaving, cleaning, cooking, freezing, playing, brushing, pranking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Hang on a second. Whew. Okay. We use a lot of water. But have you ever taken a moment to think about where it all comes from? Or what about where it all goes when we're done with it? Every home, school, restaurant, and pretty much every other building in the Carborough Chapel Hill community is connected to a large network of pipes owned and operated by the Orange Water and Sewer Authority. But you can call it OWASA, a public nonprofit organization. Think of it as your community-owned water utility. Whenever anything goes down the drain, it enters the pipe network. Pumps, with a little help from gravity, move our used water to its treatment center. Things like cooking oil and grease can clog up these pipes, so it's important to you and your community that you recycle your oil and throw fat and grease in the trash. In a short while, the water arrives at Owasa's Mason Farm wastewater treatment plant, and it's here that the dirty water magically becomes clean again. No, forget I said that, because it's not magic at all. It's actually a lot of very important and hard work carried out by dedicated Owasa team members. The dirty water goes through a rigorous treatment process, first by having the really bulky debris caught by a series of screens, and then the heavy grit and sand are removed, all of which get a one-way ticket to the landfill. The dirty water then goes through large tanks where some of the solids are removed by a settling process. Next, it's feeding time. The water moves into tanks where good bacteria, which are definitely not picky eaters, nibble away on the waste. The bacteria even help to remove nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus, which could otherwise be harmful when the water is returned to the environment. Once that tasty waste is devoured, the water moves into another tank where leftover solids settle to the bottom and clean water rises to the top. The bacteria that settled at the bottom of the tank are hungry again and ready for seconds. So they're sent back to eat up more incoming waste. The whole process is pretty much a never-ending buffet for the bacteria, making this the perfect spot for them to settle down and start a family. And yeah, we do end up with way more bacteria than we need. So to keep the system in balance, some of the bacteria is removed and placed into large tanks called digesters. Here, the excess bacteria are put to work, turning solids into biosolids. The biosolids are used on local farmlands, providing valuable nutrients and improving soil quality. Okay, now, back to the water. An additional filtration step catches any remaining solids trying to sneak through. And then the water is treated to an ultraviolet light show that disinfects and kills any harmful bacteria. Afterward, the water is given one last boost of oxygen for good measure. And voila! The now incredibly clean water is returned to the environment where it's used and consumed by people and wildlife as it makes its way to the Atlantic Ocean. Don't believe me? <laughs> here's the water before it enters Owasa's treatment plant. And here's what it looks like once Owasa has done its magic. But again, totally not magic. In fact, the water is so clean that Owasa pumps a growing portion of it back to the University of North Carolina campus to cool buildings, irrigate athletic fields, and yes, flush toilets. So there you have it. Behind every toilet, faucet, shower, water hose, really anything that brings water in and out of your home is a very delicate and time-consuming process. And even though Owasa works around the clock with state-of-the-art technology and a dedicated crew, it needs your help for the whole thing to run smoothly. Basically, if clean water comes out of it, then only water goes back in it. Solids, oils, or grease will clog pipes, either in your house or in our community network. Of course, a little toilet paper isn't a problem. But everything else should go straight to the trash. And things like medication should never be dumped down the drain. They raise all kinds of concerns throughout the water treatment process. So instead, let's take unneeded and outdated medications to the local police or sheriff's department. It's simple. 
There's only so much water on the planet. We don't make new water. We just use and recycle what we've already got. We all have a right to clean, safe water, but we also have a responsibility to care for the systems that keep it that way. So let's do our part, and Owasa will keep working its magic.